I didn't see what you oh. The day amongst friends is here, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Professor John Guy, the King of RNG, the Troll Master, the Data Analyzing Ninja, the Conqueror of my own fate, and the wise man for your reigning, defending, undisputed, podcasting champion, Daka Damas, the oh, Equalizer. No. No. No, no, unsportsmanlike already. You can't do that. You can't do that. I'm cutting you off right there. You can't Whoa, do that. You, you do that do to that. me. Oh, you can't do that. So I'm cutting you off right now. So many seasons you have you taken a line that no. I have given to no. you, and you spit oh, no. it around on me, and I didn't say a thing. Dakadamas doesn't even sound good. That's the, that's the other part. It doesn't even sound good. It sounds, it sounds great. It sounds like a, a freaking... I don't even know. It sounds like an animal that's been altered. Uh, it's better uh, than the other thing I was going to say. Oh, God. Don't get tossed out of the game. Come on. Come on. Don't get tossed. Anyway, this man <laughs> right here, he is Los Tranquilo, the Sultan of Squat, the S- Sanitizer. Stop. <laughs> Please. What's going on, man? What a scumbag. A lot of scumbaggery. You know, you know what, what was not scumbaggery? And we'll get to the point of the episode real quickly. That Brock Lesnar interview of the Pack McAfee show yesterday. I didn't know you had a chance to watch it, but it no. was amazingly hilarious, insightful, Super. motivational. Yeah. Oh, great. check him out. I didn't get a chance to see. I mean, anything that Ponytail Brock does is going to be amazing. Um, Ponytail just, Brock with that cowboy hat. Yeah, it's 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 awesome. I mean, he's just really good um, with the ponytail. And I've been saying that since I've seen him. It, oh, it was the, first, the first time I saw that ponytail, I just knew um, that he was going to be gold again. Probably the best run of his career, in my opinion. Um, where he's free, the ponytail's just swinging and, and flying in the air, and it just looks good. But I did see some about. Was there a table involved? Uh, it was a little, you know, side table that you'd have like at the couch kind of thing. Gotcha. Um, Somebody went through that, or he broke no, it, or something. He, he, he broke it. it. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> he, he broke it, and then he yeeted his uh, headphones into the rafters. Gotcha. At the gotcha. very end of the episode, like he was energetic. Let's go, Brock. Uh, but, ladies and gentlemen, we are here uh, as this season has been long. Season six, as well as the NFL season, been long. Obviously, they added the extra game. They added the extra team in the playoffs. They added uh, so many different rules and regulations. Um, there's so much going on. So we are going to do a quick recap of this first 17 game regular season the inaugural 17 game season won by your i was gonna i was gonna say it but i chose not to your los angeles rams yeah that would have been an automatic injection too (laughs) you knew that too yeah, but your LA Rams are your Super Bowl champions. Um, definitely well deserved. The Hollywood ending, as many points. Yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, now teams are going back to back, playing in their home stadiums. That's kind of crazy. Um, but the you know, and that joke, you know, a couple of weeks ago, saying the Cowboys, you know, oh, it's the been, Cowboy. It's been like everywhere. Uh, on Twitter. Most- that same yeah, joke has been all over Twitter. Yeah, that the NFL is going to switch the <laughs> switch the Super Bowl to Cowboy Stadium because the Cowboys will never play at home, uh, which is pretty good. As well as them thinking about doing it uh, out of the country, which I thought would be interesting. Um, you well, know, I mean, it's going to be great for the NFL because it gets the more worldwide exposure, but it's going to suck for you know domestic fans because they don't want to have to fly out there. Yeah, you're you not, know, you're you not know. just paying for a flight, <laughs> like a domestic flight now. Now you're paying for a domestic flight, domestic uh, hotels, and then whatever they decide they want to charge for the price at the uh, whatever the stadium they decide yeah. to do that. 
unless they like they have to like you know and mo- whatever stadium they use you got to make sure that you have it you know potentially customized it might, a, it might be in a soccer stadium right customized for that elaborate uh, halftime show and all that yep. good stuff um but nonetheless um you know what were your initial thoughts man 17 game season um you had season. excuse me 18 game season well Technically a 17 with the bye week. That's why I keep saying 17, but 18 week season. Yes. Um, 17 games. A lot of ups and downs, a lot of crazy takes, a lot of coach firings mid season, some controversy. A couple of stars were released from their teams, you know, abruptly. Obviously, you, know, you had some trades. Um, I mean, it was a lot. And, and, that's not, and that's not even including, you know, Corona Chan. Yeah, which I don't think it reared its ugly head until like week ten. Yeah, it was pretty not calm, but it was cool. It was um, cool, and then all of a yeah. sudden, just woof, bam, 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 bam. like a like a freaking Jacob's gun. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. if you only use you have to use more than one shot, you're not using like a Jacob's. You're not using a Jacob's out of the Borderlands, uh, but you know we we started the season, you know. Aaron Rodgers, you know, we you know we had a couple of new head coaches, you know, we had, you know, a couple of holdouts, you know, a couple of contract disputes, yep, um, a couple of people coming back from injury, um, but I mean, I think the big, you know, news was, you know, the big deal was, you know, hey, Urban Meyer, you know, coming to the NFL. It was right. the hype behind Urban Myers. Yeah, that was the himself. big thing. You got Trevor Lawrence coming in. Um, you know that plethora of quarterbacks, uh, the plethora of wide receivers that were taken. You know, um, I mean, you just had a lot. The you know, return of Dak. Yep. Right. You know, you know, you you knew them boys was going to the Super Bowl, and I said it, man. I, I felt like. The Cowboys had the best chance. This is it right here. This year was it. This team was the best opportunity to get them to the Super Bowl, in my opinion. I thought they you had on the paper, number one. I would agree with you. No, you had the no, you had a guy, you know, number one in interceptions. You had a guy that was, you know, led rookies in sacks. You know, Dak was back. You know, it's just for some reason the Cowboys had an be the offense. Cowboys. Yeah, that offense on paper looked great. Like you said, they had the receivers, obviously, before a couple injuries um, late in the season, which I think if um, they don't lose – oh, cat, what is his name? Uh, what's Gallup? the receiver? Oh, Michael Gallup. If they don't lose Michael Gallup, they have a better weapon. I mean, not, not against Amari, you know, uh, hanging with Mr. Cooper and CD, you know, Mary had a little lamb. But Mr. – you know, Michael, all stables clear Gallup. Um, I just feel like he makes the tough catches that the other two can't. Amari Cooper's a great route runner. CeeDee Lamb, great route runner. But the drops, you know, will probably have them, you know, playing in a different uniform possibly next season. Um, I've been on clear. Uh, I think if he continues to drop passes like he's been. Well, yes. I, I could see it. I listen. They let go of uh, Jalen Smith, which I didn't. I didn't think they should do that because I personally don't. I'm not a huge fan of Vander Esch, um, but I don't think anybody's off the table uh, at this particular point, um, including, like you mentioned, Mike McCarthy. Now this season, Mike McCarthy's on the hot seat. I, you know, he has to win this season or get into the playoffs. Last season, I didn't think it was going to happen, but. This season, I think he's this season. Starts Cowboys high. nations are starting to say what I said last year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were you were jumping the gun. I thought, but I don't think I, I was jumping the gun. Yeah, I would you were say, the gun, but... dare I say, had the reads. I don't know. I mean, when I look at the, um, you know, some of the other teams, you know, that didn't make any necessary necessary jumps, you know, the Jags, the Jets, the Giants. Um, you know, in the beginning of the season, you would have thought that it was the Dolphins, yeah. um, you know, the Commanders. Well, uh, they so they became the Commanders. You told me I couldn't. Season. You told me I couldn't say football team or 
or old well, skins. Uh, that's what I said. They became the commanders. Yeah. So that's why I, I want to make sure we're, I, we're I say commanded. We're that into it so we stay Yeah. I, okay. I just want to make sure I don't get any texts or anything. You said it, I was, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't the, was the football team that got you to tech. It was the, it was the old skins. Yeah, it was the, the old skins. skins. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the some teams that just didn't get better. Um, nope. You know, the, teams, the teams Falcons, were supposed the to Panthers. Get better. Yeah. Didn't um, get better. And teams that were supposed to be super super contenders just didn't look good at all, too. Shout outs to the Seattle Seahawks. I was thinking the same thing, and I know we had a big conversation about them re-signing Jamal Adams, which I thought was a terrible idea still to this very moment. I think yep. it's a terrible idea. Um, but you know, now they got Russell Wilson issues as well as hey, how long does Pete Carroll stay around? Yep. Um, and uh everything going on as well with Deshaun have, Watson uh, and the Deshaun, Houston Texans. Uh, Deshaun Penny, too, their running back, to well, think about, too, with their contract issues. Honestly, I don't know what the Seahawks are going to do. Um, you got to make a decision on Russell. You got to, you know, I think Russell is the main, you know, point of emphasis. Like, hey, you know, do we trade Russell, you know, away to the, the Colts or, you know, now the Bucks or, you know, the Panthers or, you know, some of these, uh, uh, the Falcons, some of these, you know, the, the Steelers, you know, the end of an era, a couple of era ends, you know, that we, we went through, you know, does Russell go and play for one of those teams uh, or does he stay in Seattle and, and ride yeah. out Pete Carroll's tenure, uh, which could potentially end next season? Yep. But speaking of the Steelers, what are the Steelers going to do? Well, I mean, he said they're going to battle out. I mean, uh, I told you I wouldn't be surprised if they brought in Jameis um, to, to compete for that, you know, that opportunity. Yep. Um, you know, the, the Saints can't march in because they don't have any cash. Nope. Uh, so they'll have to make some the, tough the, decisions. The, 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 the Saints are marching in with stuff from the Dollar Tree. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and even the Dollar Tree now has gone from a dollar to a dollar twenty-five. So even that's kind of pushing it. <laughs> so um, it, it's going to be tough. I think you know we'll have to wait and see if they keep Taysom Hill. I mean, they paid Taysom Hill a big, big money, you know, and I think he played quarterback most of the the season. So I think it's like four years, ninety something million dollars if he plays quarterback, um, and he did. So I assume that's what he's going to get. Uh, so I could see him getting cut. Um, it's a lot of, it's a, it's going to be interesting to say the least. This is going to be a different league. Brady's out, you know, Carson Wentz is on the move. Um, Again. who else is on there? Yeah. it's a couple people that, you know, uh, Ryan Tannehill, uh, could be on, could the, be move. on the move. Yep. Well, and honestly, and this is just me being honest. And I mean, I don't know how I feel about it right now, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Bucks put a, a claim in for Ryan Tannehill, you know, for a trade for Ryan Tannehill. Um, I don't think it's a horrible move. Um, I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. Yep. And as well as the, you know, the the Steelers. Um, but I you got to see what's going. Tannehill going to the Steelers. But then you got to also look at Jimmy G. You know, Jimmy G's out there. Um, you know, do the uh, the Commanders. You know. St- Stick with uh, Heineken. Ooh. You know Jimmy what I'm saying? G potentially going to a team with the color red in their schemes, Doc. Right. As Jimmy G signed with or the traded. Tampa or traded to the Tampa traded. Bay Buccaneers. Right. Um, which, again, you know, the Bucks obviously with Tom Brady retiring, they could ride with Kyle Trask and or Blaine Gabbert. Um, but that would be just for the money. Yep. Um, that would just be an opportunity for them to sign everybody back um, and, you know, let the talent help Kyle Trask grow. Like, can Kyle Trask go out there and just throw short passes to Chris Godwin all day? I, I, I assume he can. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, will people take pay cuts to come back? I, I know everybody's not coming back, but – yeah, um, that's one of those things. And then you have to look at the Rams, the Super Bowl champs. You know, how different will they look next year? You know, they have a lot um, of people going out in free agency. We we know they're probably not going to resign everyone. I don't think I don't think a team is going to try to do what the Bucks try to. Well, 
what the Bucks did last offseason, which is to bring think, back all the starters. And I don't think the players are going to allow it, and that's the part that, that kind of stinks. I don't, I don't think the players are going to allow it. Um, and, and we did have a, you know, really, really early power ranking kind of coming in. Um, and I know the Bucks were not – in that top 10. No. Um, so I thought that was pretty interesting, but uh, I, I mean, I think the people expect the Rams to still be dominant. Um, but like I said, a couple of weeks ago, when the Vikings hired their offensive coordinator, I really feel like the Vikings are going to get better. Um, yeah, I, I, they got rid of the main source of the issue, which well, I've been yeah. saying for the past two seasons. Yeah. So now they can start making progressive moves forward instead of keep going backwards. And by backwards, I mean don't become like the New York football giants. Agreed. Um, but then you also have, you know, what happens with Kyler Murray? Because uh, yep. there's a lot of, you know, speculation going on with Kyler Murray and, right and now the way it's they went out. It's only just speculation. It's only just yeah. speculation. Which I understood because, you know, in the game, you know, when you're watching it, it did look like, hey, this guy is stinking it up right now. When in reality, his offensive line gave him zero time. Zero time. <laughs> you, you, compared, you compared it to <laughs> last year's Super Bowl. Oh, God. Uh, it was worse. I thought it was way worse. Yes. Uh, worse. And, you know, DeAndre Hopkins wasn't out there. Yep. But you put him in a system with a better offensive line where he's a guy who doesn't want to run but uses running as a you know a last option. Yep. I think you have something there. Um, but we'll have to keep an eye on that. Um, but ultimately the season was pretty dang good. I mean, outside of, you know, racist Gruden and, you know, uh, Urban uh, Meyer uh, kicking and, and kicking and a, people. And a- Cornucopia ref ball into in games. I mean, geez. Uh, yeah, don't get tell me about, don't get me started. And I'm not even talk about Super Bowl. Well, I know you playoff not. games. <laughs> I think games PR. I mean, you know the ref man. Whew. Yeah. Um, but you know, we'll see what happens in the off season. You got some signings coming up. I mean, you know, got some people who are going to be traded. You got the draft. Um, uh, obviously, Johnny. I mean, we're going to take a break, but. You know, I'm interested to see, you know, what happens between now and just to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, we will be back March 13th for Selection Sunday, um, or I guess March 14th, yeah. uh, pending, you know, see who's in the brackets for uh, March Madness. Uh, but I'm curious to see, you know, the headway that teams make um, during that, that this stretch of time when they when they can start talking to players about extensions you yeah. know although i'm pretty sure those phone calls happen i mean um, i don't I care mean, what nobody says there's there's already conversation already beginning right now for one Aaron yeah. Rodgers, as the packers are saying quote unquote going all in so, which i don't think that's smart honestly the only reason i don't think it's smart is because Aaron Rodgers is 38 years old and granted he probably can play to 45, you know, 44, 45, similar to, you know, Tom, but ultimately they have a quarterback of the future already. Like let's not act like this is their first rodeo uh, unless course. they don't believe in, unless they don't believe in Jordan love just well, yet. Again, no one from the Packers organization has said anything about Jordan love. Also, right. you're a scumbag for saying that too, because you also want Aaron Rodgers to go to the Buccaneers and make <laughs> your <laughs> premonition come true. Don't think I don't see what you're doing, Doc. You ain't slick. Come on, come on. You can't, you can't say that though. I mean, you, you, it's not just about the the, the fact premonition. That, the fact that you laughed, you knew I was right. You knew that's like seventy five percent of why you said that. I don't think he would come to the Bucks as much as bad as I want it. It's just the money is not going to work. Um, it's just not going to work. Yeah, but I want but it he, to work. He gets to be. He gets to work behind the heck of a line, though. If we can keep him together, I mean, Ryan Jensen's up. Um, you know, Kappa's up. And I mean, I don't. I don't know. I mean, Kappa, Jensen, Chris Godwin. Um, you still got the secondary, which I don't know. I personally don't think he signed Carlton Davis back personally, <laughs> uh, but I know that it's a high chance. Um, I yeah, think he prioritized. Will. I think he prioritized Chris Godwin. Yep. 
you prioritize, I would say Kappa over Jensen. I was going to say Kappa over Jensen, too. Yeah, I guess Kappa's younger. Um, and then we already signed Rita Vea back to an extension, which I don't – I think that's good. We need a, a backup linebacker. I think this draft has to be huge. Um, I think so, too. But I think that's for a lot of teams. A lot of teams need big time draft help. Obviously, the Bengals need, you know, pass rushing and corner help. Um, the Rams are going to need a new tackle, most likely. Um, and because I, I don't you, think they're going to be. You able to... say, oh, you say uh, pass rushing. You mean pass rushing blocking, right? The Bengals. Yeah. No, they need a new pass rusher. <laughs> like, oh, I was yeah, about they need pass some, rushing. Some pieces on the offensive line. No, no, they need pass. I think they held up pretty good. The Rams are good, man. Because even the Bucks had trouble with the Rams. So the Rams are good. I can't. I don't take that too seriously. I mean, although he got sacked what twelve times or eight times this game, nine times this game, twelve times the other game. I mean, they have a long. They, they throw some pretty long routes. Um, I think they need help pass for They wouldn't get no pass rush at all. Um, but. Overall, pretty good season. It was great following the Colts on Hard Knocks, the Jets on, uh, I think it's called One Drive or First yep. Drive or something like that. You know, um, the Lions, you know, their, their first head coach, their first year head coach. Um, I think everything kind of went pretty dang good. Um, glad to see certain coaches gone. The return of Lovey Smith. We'll see how that goes. We're gonna see how that entire uh, roller coaster is. Yeah, but Johnny, I know. Wait, before you do that, Doc, we also have one big shout out to give, and that's to Dickie V. Oh yeah, Dickie V having surgery on his throat. We're going to wish him a speedy recovery okay. on his. He almost got the second one. He almost I got see, the second yeah, one. For I that. saw. I saw. I saw. I saw you back up from to the camera a little bit and your shoulders were square up. Um, yep. But yes. It was about to happen. Uh, Vicky, Vicky getting, you know, surgery on his throat. Yes. Um, so from Doc Prof and all of us at the Data Bucks friends, we want to wish Dick Vitell a safe recovery on his throat surgery. Yeah, because we need him. I mean, out there, you know, saying diaper dandy and, you know, it's, it's going to be an awesome baby with a freaking capital A. Yep. Uh, but, Johnny, I know that people heard this podcast on their favorite podcast platform. But if they didn't, they can always go to our website at www.debateamongstfriends.com to hear this episode as well as all the previous. Be sure to tune in on March, I was going to say March 13th, as we break down selection sun or i guess it'll be the week of, week of. mark 13 yep. um we'll, we'll go ahead and break down the 64 i guess we're, we're at it we're field at the madness 64. the field of 64 no, no. we're at the madness it's not the madness yet i don't feel it yet it, it hasn't happened. yeah well, it's still february it's still february really yeah. we're just getting we're just getting i mean, over I mean we're, we're just we're just we're just getting over the live <laughs> Right. Or at least in Doc's right. case. <laughs> right. Wow, wow, wow. By choice. It is by for choice. Both of us. <laughs> well, for both of us. It's by choice. <laughs> you know, that was a very, very safe line you just said there. You just saved yourself from spending the night in the doghouse. But I live there. I live there. But anyway. We appreciate everyone who listens to us. Make sure you listen to this episode, all the other episodes. Yeah, I mean, we'll be website. on social media, on social media at Debate Amongst Friends, at Debate Amongst Fra, you know, on Twitter. Um, I mean, definitely we're still posting some things up, but we are taking a break until that field of 64. Um, but you but, make sure you bring those booties back here for nope, the news, nope, the analysis. Nope. We got to do it the right way. And unfortunately for everyone oh, of you, wow. we must bid you adieu. So, goodbye. And to all, a good night. Taste the ocean.